Hi everyone, welcome to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. We get a lot of questions about the heart rate accuracy on the trackers and smartwatches we review. Today we'll be looking at the heart rate accuracy of Fitbit Versa 3 and Garmin Venu SQ. Baseline heart rate was measured by Polar H10 ECG chest strap. If you are new to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. Basically, just a couple of hours ago, I took the Fitbit Versa 3 and Garmin Venu SQ on an evening run. As you can see from the tracing in the Polar Beat app, I ran 5.14 kilometers in just 45 minutes. The average heart rate was measured at 147 beats per minute and the max was 167 beats per minute. I started the run on all three devices simultaneously and took off. I have overlaid the heart rate plots on both smartwatches over the Polar H10 HRM chart. Let's go through each one with a short recap of what the watch offers and then its test results. By the end of the video, we'll rank the results to find the most accurate optical heart rate sensor of the tested watches. First up is the Fitbit Versa 3. It has a 15% larger AMOLED display than on the prior model, coming in at 1.58 inches and a 336 by 336 pixel resolution. It's got a solid 6-day battery life and now has a speaker as well as the microphone. Hence, now Alexa can actually tell you a joke or the weather. Versa 3 finally gets inbuilt GPS. In fact, it's dual GPS. Fitbit Pay is here as well. There's even more apps to download. My preference still lies with Spotify, Coach and Continuous SPO2. It tracks your three sleep stages, so your light, deep and REM sleep. There are guided breathing exercises available now with the ability to listen to meditation tracks on the Fitbit app. An interesting point here is that the SPO2 measurement is continuous during the night. Hence, we will be testing that with a medically certified continuous SPO2 monitor in the next review. We can see the watch measured an average heart rate of 147 beats per minute and a max of 165. The average heart rate is on the dot and in line with the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, while the max is off by 1.2%. From the charts, we can see why the average is generally on par with the chest strap. The trolls are well recorded, but in more than a few instances, the trolls are lower and the peaks are higher than that registered by the chest strap. These lows and highs are overstated and understated in a similar amount of cases. Hence, the average is close to what is recorded by the H10 strap. Now, let's take a look at Garmin Venu SQ. In essence, it's a budget version of the Garmin Venu but at heart it's still the superb multi-sport watch. It's square going back to Garmin Vivo series roots. Dimensions are 37 by 40 by 11 millimeters and it's relatively light at just 39 grams. The display is a 1.3 inch color LCD screen with Corning Glass 3. When using Garmin Pay, entering your four digit code is easy on the larger than average screen. Battery life is also on par with the Versa 3 and it's also six days. There's an optical heart rate sensor with pulse ox, aka SPO2 sensor on the back. By the way, SPO2 is also continuous here, hence we will test it as well. There's dual GPS, similar music streaming apps as we saw on the Versa 3, Spotify and Deezer are available. There's the respiration rate monitor, stress tracking and a body battery. Essentially it tracks the exercise and intensity at which you perform the exercise, takes into account your heart rate, SpO2 and sleep data to give you a score that represents how much charge you have for the new day ahead. The watch measured an average heart rate of 147 beats per minute and a max of 167. The average and max heart rates are in line with the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. From the charts, we can see almost an exact tracing of the Venu SQ and Polar H10. There is no sign of any lag. Considering there is 45 minutes worth of heart rate readings here, but the Garmin looks to have a very accurate optical heart rate sensor. Let's discuss the results, rank them and potentially make some conclusions. The Venu SQ is the clear winner here. The optical heart rate sensor has shown amazingly accurate readings that trace every peak and troll. Especially noticeable is the fact that in the initial 35 minutes of the run, there were almost no variances nor discrepancies in the heart rate readings. 
The Versa 3 has shown it's also very capable and sporty, but with a generally accurate optical heart rate sensor, not as exact as on the Venus SQ. The average heart rate was a result of a number of understated throws and overstated peaks, but still a great result, with having the max off by just 1.2%. Thank you all for watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this heart rate test useful and insightful, then please click the red subscribe button below the video to ensure you don't miss any of our future content.